The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For look, I'm going to create new heavens and a new earth, and the past will not be remembered and will come no more to mind. Rather, be joyful, be glad forever at what I am creating. For look, I'm creating Jerusalem to be joy and my people to be gladness. I shall be joyful in Jerusalem and I shall rejoice in my people. No more will the sound of weeping be heard there, nor the sound of a shriek. Never again will there be an infant there who lives only a few days, nor an old man who does not run his full course. For the youngest will die at a hundred, and at a hundred the sinner will be accursed. They will build houses and live in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. And our response is taken from Psalm 30. Yahweh my God, I cried to you for help and you healed me. Make music for Yahweh, all you who are faithful to him. Praise his unforgettable holiness. His anger lasts but a moment. His favor through life. In the evening come tears, but with dawn cries of joy. Carefree, I used to think nothing can ever shake me. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have stripped off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my heart will sing to you unceasingly, Yahweh my God. I shall praise you forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When the two days were over, Jesus left for Galilee. He himself had declared that a prophet is not honored in his own hometown. On his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival, which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. And there was a royal official whose son was ill at Capernaum. Hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son, as he was at the point of death. Jesus said to him, Unless you see signs and portents, you will not believe. Sir, answered the official, Come down before my child dies. Go home, said Jesus. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and went on his way home. And while he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. They replied, the fever left him yesterday at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, your son will live. And he and all his household believed. This new sign, the second, Jesus performed on his return from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord.